WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, a rainy Delray Beach, Florida. But this year, 11 a.m. update, we've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. The Dow's off 109 points, three tenths. Two tenths for the S&P are seven points. One tenth for the NASDAQ 100, 14 points. The Russell's up 17 points right now. The semis are up 14. Trannies are down 25. You've got gold trading off 18 bucks. Silver's down 33 pennies. That's about 1% and 1.5% respectively. Of course, U.S. dollar index is trading higher. It's up by at least 385 ticks as we speak right now. Light three crude have a nice rally. It's up 250. Natural gas up seven pennies. The 30 year treasury is flat. Trading out at 114.13. Let's go take a look at what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. We can see that A to B equals CD. The first price projection level has been hit. That's at 43.10. That means start watching for any kind of bullish reversal candle. Should we get one? I'm not talking about necessarily today, but should we get one? That would confirm a Gartley buy pattern or a buy the D point pattern. Now, today is also going to complete a TD nine count bottom inside of the ES mini. Spot volatility is still well above its 50 day exponential moving average of 50 days at 1533. This gives sellers the edge. The NQ actually closed below its swing point from back here on the trading session of August the 18th. And that sets up an A to B equals CD to the downside with an initial price projection of 14,384. However, a TD9 count bottom will complete today. There's also a new profile that's attempting to form. It keeps shifting, so we won't focus too much on that. U.S. dollar index, that's what's giving conniptions to the markets. Now, the U.S. dollar index will complete its TD9 count top today as well. So we've got the potential for reversal that would begin tomorrow. But you're going to need to see that U.S. dollar index turn down, most likely. If we take a look at gold, gold has several different A to B equals CD patterns as we speak right now. Of course, it's going to be dependent upon where price closes today. Today, you could get the smaller A to B equals CD. If we get a close below 19.13.60, that'll give us a price projection. Let's see, the smaller one gives us a price projection of 18.38 out there. We've got larger ones as well that are in play. We'll take a look at that during the Trader's Edge show. If we take a look at silver, silver right now is testing a series of swing points, one from August 15th, the other from uh, September 14th. We get a close below 22.58, we've got an A to B equals CD down. If we get a close below 22.55, that's another junior A to B equals CD to the downside. Light three crude, as long as it closes today above 91.80, it will go ahead and resume that move up to its one-to-one -one price target of its A to B equals CD, the upside 96.70. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Set Show, but if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now. The reality.